Hey guys, it's the Xbox Nut, back with another uh, another progress report. Well, the whole thing is 100% complete. Everything is finished. The clock is working fine. It's ticking over there. The boat is loaded, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the clock working and how we can play around with all the functions in one so, uh, one count, really. So, zeros off, adders are all disabled, count is ready. So if I want to turn on the clock, the auto counter as I call it really, just flip the switch, light will turn off in a second. There you go. And it will start counting. I've got a 9 clock uh, in my me mechanism, but I'm not sure it really makes a difference with a boat counter because the boat decides when the next number will be showed. Uh, it's The clock only serves as how quickly the doors open. So I suppose the the quick the quicker the clock, i.e., the the smaller, uh, the the less number of inverters. So a nine clock is slower than a five clock because it takes longer to go around. So the faster the clock or the less number of inverters, the more rapidly the doors will open, meaning that the boat will go through faster. Really, but I I like how mine works out because there's a long delay so that you can watch the number and a quick load up of the next number. So we'll let the clock run for the next couple of digits, and I'll just show you how you can throw in the adder while you're bored. So, oh, what's 1 plus 2? Oh, look, it's 3. Oh, what's 1 plus 2 plus 4? Maybe it's 7. Minus 1, maybe that's 6. One, turn off the 0, even though it's already off, because these don't equal 0. Clock's ready again. Count for a bit. Well, yeah, a couple of seconds, and then I'll show you how you can pause it and then manually change it afterwards. So you get a nice couple of seconds on the view, quick change and then to the next number thanks to my boat designed counter. Uh, turn off the clock. Clock is running but I'll give you a demonstration, uh, give you a quick talk about it, uh, how it works later. In fact, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that later in case for those people who just want to see the demonstration. Still works, even with the manual, even though the clock was running halfway through. And likewise, you can keep running the clock. 8, 9, you will chicken. He's trying to push me off. And 0. Alright, so I'll give you a talk about the clock now. Right, just quickly before we go into uh, the uh, the counter, not the counter, the clock. I'm just gonna give you a quick overall look of everything because it is finally 100% finished. I know I've I've posted quite a few videos of progress, but this is the whole final thing. So, adder, gates, decoder, one underneath, counter, reset of uh, reset uh, uh, line, reset line of the counter and the clock clock is significantly smaller than anything else and so you can barely notice the difference and it's just getting dark so I'll wait till morning before I go in depth of the clock most of you will probably know about it so uh, no one will blame me if you stop watching now because the last little bit will be explaining the clock okay the sun's rising <clears throat> so I'll give you a quick talk about the clock Basically, it is a it is an odd number of inverters chasing themselves around so that it's a continuous pulse. And like I said earlier, the more you have, the longer it takes. So I've got a nine clock, which is pretty average. Most people either use a five clock for pace or a much longer clock for a longer delay because most of the circuits are bigger than this. So a nine clock's a good, nice number for mine, which means that it pulses it at however many ticks this is a second, I can't be bothered to count, which is also connected to an AND gate. Now what this means is that the manual switch, manual button, will be pressed and go down here, turning this on so the doors will open for as long as the button is pressed, and then when it goes off the doors will shut again, which makes a manual counter. With the AND gate, i.e. the switch of the auto counter on, it permanently turns this on, which means the counter, every time it flashes, instead of not doing anything, 
each time it goes black there and there a door will be opened therefore the boat will go through so I'll show you how that works while the clock is running if I can actually get up here yeah I made I made each of the input buttons or switches or torches or whatever dirt so we can actually see more clearly that they're actually there it's not even though the doors you can hear them here you can't hear them from when you're inputting uh, what you want to do so it's okay for the noise but as you can see this is permanently off when the switch is enabled so this will open or close the doors every couple of ticks I'm not sure if the boat's, is, boat's gone all the way through yet, probably not but we'll just see it returning through the little line this, this actually took me a long time because the boat is not very good at turning 90 degree angles. Here it comes. Couple of booster thingies. Glass so that ah, so that animal doesn't get in and block it. A ladder prevents it from smashing on the corner. Couple more boosters and then it flies up. Hopefully. Yes, yeah, so we're back. Sorry about that. There was actually a cow in the middle of the system, which really annoyed me because I've no idea how I got down there. But we're just on the last bit of the clock, so we can manually press it. And imagine that the zero is just here. Press it one more time, and the boat should be on its way on its way back, assuming there is no bloody animals in the way, which there shouldn't be because I can't hear any splashing. There's the boat. Ninety degree turn. Goes under, gets propelled back up, and goes back into circulation. That's like the. F that's why the light turns on for a second, and then goes back off. So, with the clock here. That's it permanently on. Oops. There. Nope. There. Four, I think. It's on and it's off. Going to five. And it's off. Going to six. And so on. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you stuck with me the whole time. Uh, it is 100% complete, so the next video I'll be posting will be on a new project. I'm not sure what I'll be doing for that, because I quite like the idea of 7 segment displays. So I might make something again with them, I'm not sure. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate, send me messages. <laughs> I just, I feel like I want to get into the YouTube, uh, I don't know, YouTube, uh, YouTube something community I, I kept thinking committee and council whatever so yeah thank you very much for watching uh, if you have any queries about how the adder works or how anything else works apart from what we've seen in this video check out my channel uh, all the other videos will be there one of them the first one was with the adder then the counter and then the decoder underneath and then finally the clock so thank you very much for watching. Uh, watching. Hopefully you'll watch all my other videos as well. Comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you next time.